All right, those uh, mailmen, postal delivery service, Amazon drivers, anyone that's working outside today is going to get wet. It's not going to be a comfortable day. Quarter to five, pinpoint weather alert in effect. Here's Michelle with more on some of these uh, peak wind gusts we've been seeing overnight and you can see the whole, uh, radar behind us and there's a lot going on here Michelle. Yeah heavy rain strong damaging yes. wind gusts underway right now. We've been seeing the peak wind gusts that we're expecting with this storm over the last couple of hours Patrick and continuing for a few more it's hours. Right. So uh, going to want to be cautious traveling over roads or interstates taking a look at our live camera here in New Bedford and as the winds gust you can see the boats rocking a little bit here in the harbor. Here's our live radar again very heavy rain over eastern Massachusetts and it's the coastline of Massachusetts and now into Rhode Island where our strongest winds have been. This is a wind velocity product taking a look at some of the lower level winds. Now not all of these are reaching the ground but you can see these very strong winds just offshore I mean transported in on that uh, east and northeasterly wind in Rhode Island. Some of those low level winds are down uh, up to 60 76 miles per hour. So we are in those damaging wind gusts as our nor'easter since uh, near Nantucket right now, it's been backing westward over the last couple of hours. So making its closest pass here in these early morning uh, hours and then making its way south and west, eventually turning more eastward with its path. But take a look at some of these peak wind gusts so far. Over 80 mile per hour wind gusts in Situate, in Wellfleet, in Chatham, Block Island gusting to 64 miles per hour. Had a gust over 60 point Judith, Connecticut, Newport, both gusting between about about 50 and 60 miles per hour. So over the next couple of hours, we'll say through about seven or eight o'clock this morning, we're looking at the possibility of some gusts over 60 right along the coastline. And again, it's eastern Massachusetts that has seen those strong 70, 80 plus mile an hour wind gusts for areas of Providence points north and west along 95. You'll continue to gust over 50 at times. Currently sustained winds are over 30 miles per hour in Newport and Smithfield even. And you can see the current wind gusts in Providence 44, 52, Newport 61 for Hyannis. Here's the hour by hour forecast and this is at six o'clock in the morning still showing those wind gusts 50 to 70 miles per hour strongest winds along the coast and the Cape by eight o'clock in the morning. We're still gusting over 50 at times, but the winds are starting to subside after that. So by lunchtime, the threat of damaging wind gusts will be coming to an end. We'll still see the potential for some gusts over 50 miles per hour right along the coast. And by seven o'clock in the evening, it's still very windy, but we are expecting those high wind warnings to be discontinued in the mid afternoon. As far as the radar goes, heavy rain, heavy over eastern Massachusetts closer to the center of our storm. Here's the path we expect this to take. It'll kind of loop around itself before heading east and then eventually northeastward. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast. This is six o'clock in the morning. Here we are at noon and you can still see some rain, especially eastern Massachusetts drizzle mist, occasional showers into Rhode Island three o'clock in the afternoon. Still more of the same. Damp conditions will continue into the evening and early part of the night. Winds continuing to die down as we head into the daytime tomorrow. A breezy day with a mixture of clouds and some sunshine. Cloudier the further east that you go. And I know this is the last thing that you want to see, but we do have another storm system not nearly as strong that's on the way for Friday night. So this is six o'clock Friday evening. This area of low pressure taking a more westerly turn. May see a secondary low develop along that bringing some heavier rainfall Friday night in a parts of Saturday and then by Sunday morning we're left with just a spot passing shower into the afternoon. Our seven day forecast are at 55 for today, but the temperature is actually cooling closer to 50 in the afternoon on those strong northerly winds tomorrow in the middle 40s highs. 55 in the afternoon, upper 50s on Friday, dry during the day, and then that rain Friday night showers. Again, just a spot shower during the daytime on Sunday. I do expect it to be dry for trick-or-treating temperatures in the upper 50s. And you can get that updated forecast on WPRI.com. Got a team of meteorologists in here today. Brittany's in with us, Melissa in the Weather Center, uh, keeping us up to date on all of our platforms this morning. Yeah, we have a lot going on, and driving this morning definitely has its challenges with those strong winds trying to make your way out the door. Really need that good grip on the steering wheel, Michelle, on a morning.